In 2003, the space shuttle Columbia uh, was launched from Kennedy Space Station and there were seven astronauts on board. And um, as many of your listeners may have seen on TV or maybe even in person, I don't know anyone who's ever seen a shuttle launch in person, but certainly when I've watched it on TV, when a shuttle is, is launching, it's kind of released and it, as it flies off, if, if you watch the screen, there tends to be quite a lot of debris that flies around. So for this particular shuttle launch, um, the shuttle was released, the debris flew around. That That's very normal. That happens all of the time. Um, they call that a foam strike when the debris hits off the shuttle. But normally there's no damage. Um, but in this particular case with the Space Shuttle Columbia, uh, the next day, the Space Shuttle Columbia was in, it was in space. And the engineers that were kind of looking back over the launch and checking all the data realized that the particular foam strike that happened in January 2003 to the Space Shuttle Columbia was bigger and faster than anything they had ever seen before. And they believed basically the shuttle now had a hole in the heat shield, but they weren't sure. So what these engineers in NASA needed to do was convince uh, senior managers in NASA. So if you can imagine the engineers are here and the senior managers are up here and it was a very hierarchical organization. And they needed a satellite photograph. Now, these are very, very, very expensive things to ask for and to get, and they need to be warranted. So they kind of made a few phone calls to senior managers and said, look, we need this photo. We're a little bit concerned. And uh, the senior managers said, yeah, I don't really get this. You know, foam strikes happen all the time. What's the big deal? And they said, look, come and come and tell us what the problem is. So the senior managers said to the engineers, you know, come and tell us what is the big deal here? Because this kind of happens all the time. You know, so what the engineers did was uh, because they were going to speak to senior managers and they wanted to be seen as intelligent, informed. They wanted to be seen as having all the data, you know, and they were talking to people very, very senior fellow engineers. They put together a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation. It was um, 12, 13 slides long. And the key point was on that very last slide, the second last sentence. So they basically spent kind of 11 and a half slides, um, what I would call qualifying before they state. So they talked about foam strikes that had happened in the past and they talked about foam strikes that hadn't happened and they talked about the danger of foam strikes. And then in the very last slide, in the second last line, they basically said in engineering terms, uh, this foam strike is unlike anything we've ever seen. But no, they didn't say that. I'm saying that to you so you understand. They, they didn't say it that clearly. But again, these were engineers talking to other engineers. There was an assumption. And that's a, that's a big word. And that's quite important, you know, to, to sort of take on board. There was an assumption. They will get this. So this presentation was all about trying to get a photograph, a satellite photograph. The senior managers watched the presentation. They took it away. They read it possibly. And they came back and they said, no, uh, it's not warranted. We don't need it. It's no big deal. This happens all the time. Everything's fine. And a couple of days later, the Space Shuttle Columbia disintegrated as it was re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. What they later discovered was the foam strike, the piece of debris that hit the shuttle was the size of a suitcase. And it did cause a six to 10 inch hole in the heat shield of the shuttle, as the engineers had suspected. So there was a huge investigation afterwards. The Columbia Accident Investigation Board was set up to see what happened. Now, look, it obviously wasn't just this one presentation. There was a cultural issue within NASA as well that was addressed. But the Accident Investigation Board looked at this particular presentation and these particular slides, and they basically said the key message was lost in all of the data. Thank you.